Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here and in today's CCNP Route Video Boot Camp we're going to be jumping right into a lab here in about 20 seconds after I show you the exam question that actually inspired this lab because it's a BGP behavior that you need to be very familiar with for your exam and of course working in labs and in the real world as well. Here's the exam question from the website that inspired this video. You're performing BGP Route Summarization with the Aggregate Address command and you haven't specified any options with that command, what routes do you expect to see on downstream routers that are receiving that aggregate? And even if you know the right answer, stick around because there's a little extra gotcha in here I want you to see on the live routers. Are we going to get classful updates only, classless updates only, the summary route and the summarized routes, the summary route only, or the routes that were summarized only? Now there are some odd choices there, but of course we know we're going to get those on a Cisco exam. And also, of course, every once in a while an odd choice ends up being the right answer. Let's see if that's one of this is one of those situations. Let's go ahead and bring the live equipment up. I've got a very simple BGP setup here between routers one and three. Here's router one, show IP BGP. You see four networks there. And you see a next top of all zeros, and that means, of course, the routes were locally originated. They're just loopbacks that I put into BGP. And we also see that they are valid and best, so we're good to go there. There's our neighbor relationship with 123.3. Everything's good there. So let's go over to router 3, of course, and make sure we see the routes in question. And we do, and we see that they are valid and best with the asterisk and the arrowhead, as I call them. Valid next top IP address, so all is well. But of course, we always want to keep our routing tables complete and concise, and that includes BGP. So let's say, as the question mentioned as well, that we want to summarize these routes. Well, we know the first thing we got to do is break that down into binary and then come up with our summary mask. Let me run BGP again. There we go. So we've got to come up with our mask as well here because we can't just put in a summary route. So with the networks 8, 9, 10, and 11, you know you're going to be breaking those down into binary. And if you want to pause the video for a moment and do that, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and move forward here because what's going to happen is when you break 8, 9, 10, and 11 down into binary, they have the first six bits in common. And then after that, we don't care. So what we've got there is a mask of what? If the first six bits are set to 1, we've got a mask of 252.000. So that's what we're going to put in for our mask, but first off we have to be able to figure out or know how to apply the summary route. We do that by going into the BGP config and using the aggregate address command, just as the exam question mentioned. Now you've got to put that aggregate in. Your aggregate is going to be 8000. But then your mask comes in. And we determined that was going to be 252.000. And we've got some options here, but you'll also notice the CR at the end. And that, of course, means this is a legal command as it stands. So let's go ahead and enter that. That's what the question mentioned. And no adjacencies are going to get torn down, anything like that. But let's run show IP BGP here. And we see the routes being aggregated and the aggregated route on router 1's table, that's what we would expect. But what are we going to see down on router 3? We actually end up seeing the same thing. Now this might surprise you because when we're working with OSPF summarization and EIGRP and RIP version 2, when we're summarizing routes with those protocols, we only expect to see the summary route being advertised. We don't expect to see the more specific routes, the ones we're actually summarizing, to appear downstream. But with BGP, the default is that you're going to see the summary route and the routes that were summarized. Now you might not want that, so let's go back to router 1, go back under the BGP config, use my up arrow. This is one shortcut I do like to use. It's just control A to go to the front of the line and just type the word no there. And I'll re-enter the command. I could have up arrowed that too, but that's okay. The option that we want is summary only. Filter more specific routes from the updates. That is going to leave us, hopefully, with only the summary. So let's go ahead and enter that. We'll see what happens. Let's go down to router 3, 
see if it took effect that fast, and it did. So now you see that we only have that more, uh, excuse me, the summary route, but the more specific routes are gone. There's no right or wrong there. It depends on your network. But for the exam, I would definitely keep that default in mind and know how to change it as well. Thanks for watching today's CCNP Route Video Boot Camp. We've got plenty of extra videos for you out on the website and on the YouTube channel as well. I invite you to join us there. I'm Chris Bryant, and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.